Good morning and welcome to recorder lesson one. Um, when we start, I am going to be using my new Nouveau Plus recorder with the silicone keypads. If you just have a traditional recorder, that's fine. Um, I kind of like this new Nouveau Plus recorder because it helps cut, cut down on the squeaking that happens when your child plays recorder because you don't have to worry about covering those those holes so precisely, okay? The silicone covers them for you. So if you're interested in a recorder like this, it runs about $15 and I will put a link in the de description box for you. Otherwise, if you don't have one like this, a recorder like this is going to be just fine. Maybe you have one lying around the house from an older child or whatever, or just as a toy, but one like this will work just fine. All right. So we are going to start today with our first note, and that is going to be a B. So before we get started, I want everybody to take their left hand. Let's wiggle those fingers, okay? We are going to take the thumb on our left hand, and on the back you're going to see a little hole here, okay? That's where your thumb is going to go. So take your thumb, it's going to go in the back. And then we are going to have finger one, finger two, and finger three on the left hand. That pinky is going to be left free. And then on our right hand, the thumb is going to go in the back. It's just going to support the instrument. Then we're going to have finger one, finger two, finger three, and finger four. All right? You see that? We're not going to be pushing on all the keys or covering all the holes all at one time unless you are playing a very low note. So depending on what note it is, is going to let you know which of the keys or holes that you're supposed to cover, all right? Um, we are going to learn the B today, so that means we are just going to cover the first hole here and the thumb. So it's gonna be thumb and first finger. When we are looking at a B and we're looking at it on the staff, it is going to look, let's see if I can get it to come in, that is not the right slide. It is going to look like this. It is going to be written on that middle line of the staff, okay? So that is our B. All right, and once again, it's going to be thumb and first finger. All right, so now we're gonna take that thumb and first finger and we are gonna bring the recorder up to our mouth. And when we play in the recorder, you are going to want to use nice, soft breath. You are not gonna to wanna to blow as hard as you can because if you do, it will squeak. I want you to put your hand in front of your face like this and just blow warm air. That is the type of air that you're gonna to wanna to use to blow into your recorder. So. Let's all try that. Put your thumb and first finger, and let's try blowing that warm air into the recorder. How did it sound? Did it squeak? If so, you might need to slow down your air, or if you have a traditional recorder like this, you wanna check your fingers and make sure those holes are completely covered, okay? So let's try it one more time. Thumb, first finger, Ready, and did it sound a little better this time? All right, let me play it for you on the tradi traditional recorder. Okay, all right, so that is our B note. All right, and when we are looking at fingerings, for our recorders, we're gonna be coming across a, something called a fingering chart. And it is just gonna be a series of circles. There's gonna be three circles on the top, as well as one off to the side. Then there'll be a line, and then there's gonna be four circles at the bottom. And when the circles are filled in, that means that your finger is going to play on that note. So the top four circles are gonna represent thumb off to the side, and the first three, and then the bottom four circles are going to represent these four right here, okay? So if they're blacked in, that means that those fingers are going to be covering those holes. Here is 
what fingering charts look like, okay? You see that? And today we are going to be learning the B, and that is this one right here. So you can see right here that we have the top three holes, right? The bottom four holes. And which ones are blacked in? The first one and the thumb. So that's going to be the thumb and the first finger. And if you look here, you can see that that B is on the middle line of the staff. So that is the note we are learning right now, the B, okay? All right, so let's try that one more time. Put your recorder, your left hand on top. It's very important to keep your hands in the right position because if you move on to band later, most instruments will not be able to be played in the opposite. With the opposite hands, it's going to be, it would be, it would be very awkward. So if you put your hands in the correct position now, it'll be a lot easier if you decide you want to play in band later. Um, this recorder I have really doesn't let you because it's got this right here and this right here. So it's very uncomfortable to get your hands backwards. Whereas the traditional one, it's harder to really tell because there's nothing blocking your fingers. So this is wrong. This is right. And keep in mind that when you are watching this video, you are going to be opposite, okay? So make sure your left hand is on the top. All right, so let's put our fingers back on our recorder. So thumb, first finger, and then let's play that B note together. Remember our soft, warm air, okay? One, two, ready, play. How did it sound? Did it sound good that time? All right, let's do a little pattern with our recorder. We are going to do a half note, half note, followed by four quarter note pattern. So it's gonna be ta, 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 ta. Can you try playing that with me? One, two, ready, and. How did you do? Did you squeak? If so, let's go back and let's try it again. One more time. One, two, ready, and. All right, did you match my tone? Did it sound the same? Because it should sound just the same as mine. All right, something we should also mention that when we play recorder is something called tonguing. Okay, when we use tonguing when we play the instruments, it's like putting the T sound on when you blow into the instrument, kind of like t, t, t. So, can you kind of hear that? T, 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 like saying T when you blow in. Versus if you just blow, versus with the tonguing. Can you hear the difference without tonguing? And with tonguing, all right? It gives you a more precise starting sound, okay? So let's try that with the tonguing now. So we're gonna do that same pattern, two half notes, so ta, 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 ta. And it's gonna be almost like you're saying ta, 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 right into the instrument, okay? Ready, and. All right, did you get it? Let's try that tonguing one more time. One, two, ready, and. All right, good job. Um, let's move on to the A note. When we play the A note, we're just going to be adding a second finger. And on our fingering chart, it is going to look like this. All right, you see where the B was on the middle line on the staff, right? The A is going to be in the space right below it. And then the fingering chart over here, we have the thumb off to the side, right? And then the first two holes are going to be covered. So if you have the traditional recorder, it's going to be thumb, right? One and two. 
right, can you see that? Or if you have one like this, it's gonna be thumb, one and two, same fingering for each, all right? All right, so let's try that. It should sound like this. All right, try playing it with me. Ready, and. Did it sound the same? Try it one more time. One, two, ready, play. All right, was it better that time? Make sure we've got the thumb, first and second fingers on our left hand, right? All right, now let's try playing that same pattern we played with the B, and we'll play it with our A. So it was ta, 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 ta. Try that with me. Ready, and Did it sound good? Let's try it one more time. Ready, and Good. All right, now let's try a little pattern. Let's do one half note of B, one half note of A, and then B, A, B, A on our quarter note. So it'll sound like. All right, can you try that with me? B, A, B, A, B, A. One, two, ready, and. Right, one more time. One, two, ready, and. All right, keep practicing and see if you can work on that pattern. The next time that we do a lesson, we are going to add the note G and we are going to learn our first song. So before you get to that one, I want you to practice your B and your A notes, okay? And then you wanna make sure that you've got, if you've got a recorder like this, that you've got those finger holes nice and covered so that you're not squeaking. So try to make sure that you can play without the squeaking. All right, if you blow too hard, you're gonna get squeaking and it doesn't sound good. It makes mom and dad mad, right? So let's try not to squeak. And let's make sure those finger holes are covered. All right. And do your best. Remember that, that slow, warm air into the instrument. And then don't forget about the tonguing. The t, t, t. It's just like saying t right into the instrument. Like we're doing ta, 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 right into it, right? All right, so keep practicing and we will see you next time.